one of the great things about CPHI Worldwide is it's kind of four events for the price of one. And right now we're in Hall 4, which is the home of the InnoPAC uh, Hall. And I'm delighted to be joined by Denise Johnson, who is a VP of Global Sales for Namira. And you've got some of your wonderful solutions in front of us here. Denise, how are you? Doing well, thank you. Doing really, really well. We've had a great first morning at CPHI. It's been really, really busy, so we're delighted with the start. So good, far, so good. Good to hear. Now, tell me about Namira. I can see we've got some Namira products here in front of us. Just give us a bit of context here. Sure. Well, we develop and manufacture devices for delivery of drugs and medicine. So with a focus on plastic parts, so we injection mold and assemble devices. Uh, across a very wide area of products. So we do contract manufacturing devices, so this could be in the respiratory area or in the injectables area. So contract manufacturing is about when a customer comes to us with uh, a device and says, can you manufacture this? So we have a large amount of business in that particular area. And the second half of our business is about uh, ourselves actually analyzing the market ourselves, looking at patient needs, unmet patient needs in the marketplace and saying, well, look, is there a product that we could actually bring to the market in terms of a device to help our customers get a competitive edge in the marketplace? So that could be in areas like ophthalmological, preservative-free, uh, multi-dose eye droppers, uh, mm. Uh, other areas as well. So I can go through a few of them if you want to. Well, yes, absolutely. Let's take a look at what's uh, what's in front of us here. First of all, whereabouts are you based? We have four manufacturing sites. So we're headquartered in a place called La Verpillère, which is uh, east of Lyon in France. Uh, we also have a manufacturing site in the north of France, in Normandy, in Le Tripor. That's our center of excellence for uh, nasal pumps and valves. Third site, which is in Germany, in a place called Neuenburg. And our fourth manufacturing site is in Buffalo Grove, which is just outside uh, Chicago in the US. Right, wow, so truly a, a global firm. Good footprint in Europe, but also in the Americas too. Let's take a look at, at some of the product innovations that you're showing off here today at CPJ Worldwide. Okay, great. Well, we can start with uh, Novelia. So uh, Novelia is a multi-dose preservative-free eyedropper. Now preservative-free, I'm guessing, is the key thing here, right? Absolutely. So um, ophthalmological companies uh, typically, in terms of multi-dose packaging, up until now, have had to put preservatives into their formulations uh, because basically there's no device that existed on the market uh, to allow ophthalmological companies to do otherwise. Mm. So the problem with preservatives, uh, as most people know, is that when a patient actually uses an eyedropper with preservatives in it, it can lead to irritated or itchy eyes, which is a big problem, whether it's for glaucoma treatment or dry eyes or artificial tears. So what this device allows, basically, is uh, the ophthalmological company to put a preservative-free formulation into it. It looks just like a regular eyedropper, which yeah. is a fantastic part about this innovation as well, because there's no... Uh, learning cycle for the patient at the end of the day. They know how a regular eyedropper works. Yeah. And all of the, uh, let's say, brains of this device is located in the nozzle area. So what the patient does is opens the bottle, basically looks up. We've got a little blue tip here, which is absolutely fantastic on the uh, yes. bottle, which allows the patient to center uh, mm -hmm. the eye drop when it's actually going into the eye. We've got a lot of good patient feedback on that. And they deliver the eye drop just like a regular eye drop but it allows the ophthalmological companies to put a preservative-free formulation in there. This has hit the uh, market with a huge success. We brought it out at the end of 2013, quarter four 2013, and we have launched 17, 18 uh, brands already worldwide, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, even in the US, we're in India, we're in Europe, so we're getting a huge amount of interest in this. It's a very, very clever, innovative, and robust device. We make it in our uh, facility in La Verpillère, which is in France, so, wow. so we're really excited about this. Proper innovation, absolutely. No. Proper innovation. Good stuff. Um, you've got some other proper innovations here as well. Let's have a look at the safe and sound. Sure. Okay, so safe and sound. What is safe and sound? Basically, it is a needle stick prevention system. So it's a plastic system that is used in conjunction with a pre-filled syringe. So this is all about um, enabling patients not to contaminate a third party because needle stick injuries are a huge problem in the whole injectable yeah. area. So uh, it's quite simple in terms of how it works. There's obviously no product in this, but I'll just take off the... Uh, needle shield and show you a little bit more. Basically, as a patient or as a healthcare worker actually injects a product, 
like this. At the end of the run, right. the uh, needle uh, comes back into the sleeve basically automatically. It's called a passive system. Um, so this works very, very well. There's no extra, extra gesture that's required on this system yeah. to actually activate the device. This is an extremely robust device because you can come across systems that you know accidentally activate in the marketplace. This one doesn't. Um, and what's really um, neat about this one as well is uh, we've developed some features uh, following patient feedback around uh, the actual flanges here. As you can see, they're really rather big. Mm. So this is an add-on that we developed. Uh, it's called an extended finger flange. So basically it allows people with reduced mobility so maybe uh, uh, somebody that uh, is maybe a bit older, um, they can actually get a grip on this very, very easily. So this is an add-on um, to help people uh, maybe with rheumatoid arthritis or some other, um, um, some other uh, uh, disabilities like that to actually mm. use the device, grip the device, uh, and it works really, really well. And so, this, this makes me think about some branding that I've seen around your stand about being patient focus you know particularly patients who might have some um, some manipulation considerations yeah. sure absolutely and that's what drives our company that's what drives our innovations we uh, really try and look at the market uh, get user feedback to first of all to actually design our products but then even through the whole kind of design loops as we go to commercialize products um, pa patient feedback is absolutely key so it needs to be functional and it needs to be ergonomic and uh, getting patient feedback is absolutely uh, the, at the core of what we do. Excellent. Right, quickly, because I'm aware we're running out of time, we've, we've, there's, there's so much to talk about here, let's take a look at these other products that we've got here. Alright, so maybe two more. Yep. On the uh, dermal side, topical side, mm -hmm. we've got a fantastic cream, gel and ointment system which is called Soap Bag. So this is just a, a little uh, look at it here. Basically how does it work? It's an airless system. So uh, there's a bag, pouch, an aluminium pouch here, which you can see, which is actually rolled up inside the bottle. Mm. Um, and this uh, delivers uh, large doses, basically. So it could be used uh, in the testosterone area. It could be used for pain relief mm. uh, formulations. It could be used for hair loss. There's a, a wide variety of uh, applications here. What are the benefits of the, of the bag in particular? It's a barrier, basically. It's an absolutely fantastic barrier. So in terms of light barrier, in terms of humidity, in terms of oxygen, yep. it will um, really protect even the most difficult of formulations. And the other very clever thing about it is that it's capable of actually delivering high viscosity solutions as well as quite liquid type of solutions. Terrific. That is the soft bag. Soft bag, it's called. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and, fine, and we've got these, uh, uh, I guess, measured nasal dose nasal applicators. Pumps, yeah, Na absolutely. Nasal pumps, that's nasal the term pump. I was looking yeah, for. Thank absolutely. you. Absolutely. So, as we were talking about earlier in the whole uh, rhinitis area, decongestants, uh, corticosteroids, etc. We have a pump platform, a nasal pump platform, which is called the SP270. But you know, we're not happy to uh, stick with that <laughs> in terms of we're uh, investing in a new generation platform. So the first part of this platform, mm -hmm. the whole platform is called Advancia. So what's clever about Advancia? Basically, it is there's no metal in touch with uh, that gets into contact with the formulation. Mm -hmm. Uh, great dose consistency, great dose regularity. It's really the creme de la creme of nasal pumps. So uh, we've launched the first version, which is a, an atmospheric uh, uh, crimp version, which is already on the market. We launched in the summer. And stage two and stage three of that program involve uh, snap-on atmospheric versions, as well as preservative-free versions, which will be coming along a little bit later. So the clever thing about this pump, in terms of if you look at the preservative-free version, is that we're combining preservative free so that's basically what we were talking about on the nas on the Novalia system as well but we're combining preservative free with user independence so user independence what is that it's around uh, reduced mobility again so if your child or if someone with reduced mobility is actually actuating the product it means that the exact dose is going to be given at the same time yep. regardless of whether you've actually a very strong actuation force mm -hmm. or a very weak actuation force. So Advancia is our uh, next generation platform that uh, we're in the process of bringing to market. So. Wow. And, and just looking around the rest of your booth here, there are a number of displays with even more of the products and I know we haven't got time to look through all of them right now. But uh, 
an exciting time for you, and um, I'm delighted that you're here to share it with us at CPHI Worldwide. Uh, how's that going for you? I mean, clearly your, your booth is, is very busy. Good conversations here? Yeah, we've been having fantastic conversations. Uh, we got off to a great start at 9.30 this morning. It has been kind of non-stop since then. So it's been really, really good. Great quality of uh, through flow in terms of the, uh, the visitors. So that's fantastic. And we're also really excited to be part of the Innovation Galleries. Uh, Advancia has been recommended uh, for uh, a prize. We're down to a short list of three. So there's a lot of really exciting things happening. We're participating in some of the conferences and it's absolutely a part of our annual calendar. We're thrilled to be here. That's great to hear. Congratulations on making the shortlist with Advancia as well. Um, listen, Denise, thank you so much for sharing everything about Namira with us here at CPHI Worldwide TV. Uh, good luck with the, with the shortlisting and uh, hope you. to speak to you again next year. Thank you very much, David. Look forward to it. Thank, thank you. you.